guys, um, this is my labor and delivery story, and I'm just going to jump right in, so hopefully you don't have like 15 videos to watch. That's an exaggeration. <laughs> um, as most of you know, I was supposed to go in um, November 15th, Tuesday, November 15th, to be induced. They said that um, if I didn't get a call by 5 a.m. to call them at 5. So my alarm went off at 5. I called the charge nurse. Um, she said that um, that she did not have a room for me, but to call back at 6.30. So I reset my alarm, went back to bed, called back at 6.30, and the nurse said, you are my next in line, but um, I still don't have a room for you, so just, I will call you soon. I said, okay. So we took the girls to school, we waited around, you know, it was really hard because I wasn't supposed to eat anything and only have clear liquids, so it's not like we could go sit at a coffee shop or, you know, it, it was just really kind of awkward. And we did not have a name yet picked out, so um, my husband this whole time is um, spouting out names and looking up names, um, and I'm, you know, saying no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Um, so about 10 till 9, we got a call, and the nurse said, um, how long is it going to take you to get here? And I said, it's going to take at least 30 to 45 minutes. And she said, well, the doctor says to hurry up because she wants to break your bag of water. And my first thought was, no Pitocin. I was so excited. I thought, yay, she's just going to break my water, and I don't have to have Pitocin. That's what went through my head. So we got to the hospital, and it did. It took like 45 minutes. Um, I was introduced to my nurse. Her name was Lynn, and she had a nursing student with her named Kennedy. Um, and they took me back to my room. It was a beautiful room. I was in the new wing. Um, so, you know, state-of-the-art, flat-screen TV. It was, it was beautiful. Um, they, you know, I got undressed, got in my robe. Um, they got me hooked up onto the monitors. Um... And she said, well, how long have you been in labor? And I said, what do you mean? She goes, you're contracting every two to three minutes. And I don't know if it was my anxiety, you know, my nervousness or the, you know, of the day, you know, I was having a baby today, but I, I could not feel these contractions, um, which was so funny because I've been feeling them since 30 weeks or before. So... Um, she checked me. I was still three to three and a half centimeters, so no change there. Um, and they went ahead and started an IV. Kennedy started it, the nursing student. She was, I, I didn't feel a thing. It was perfectly placed. I could move my hand around. Um, she did a great job. Um, they started Pitocin um, and broke my water. Uh, not there was about 15 to 20 minutes in between, um, but they started Pitocin at 1030, so, and basically contractions started right away. Um, we started bantering back and forth, you know, with the nurse, my husband, my mom, and my mother-in-law were in the room with me, um, and I should tell you that my mom wanted to be there for the birth, and my mother-in-law did not. She, she just wanted to be there for moral support beforehand. So I was telling Lynn, I said, you know, I'm going to try to go natural. And so if I tell you it's close, right? It's close. I want you to, sh and it's not, I want you to sugarcoat it. And she said, well, you know, I like to tell my mommies the truth, but okay, if you're asking me to sugarcoat it, I will do my best. And I said, great. I mean, she was awesome. She was awesome. Um, I also, you know, she was just sitting there and I said, you know, is you're just sitting here and she goes oh well a baby on Pitocin we we are monitoring you till you have this baby she said we will be in this room until you have this baby and I said oh okay I had I had no idea that um, a nurse had to be with you at least in this particular hospital a nurse had to be with you the entire time so um, <clears throat> we were laughing and we're still looking up boy names and uh, the traction, the contractions begin to intensify, and they are different from when I went natural into natural labor. This is my first time, my third child, my first time being induced. 
Um, with my other two children, the contractions had a slow rise. They came to the top, they hung out, and a slow descent. These seemed to just shoot up to the top, stick there, and then a slow descent. And that was really killing me. Like, it just went straight to very, very painful. So, um, they were moving me around um, in the bed trying to figure out where baby was happiest. Um, but I wasn't really comfortable laying in the bed. I just, I felt like the contractions probably hurt worse laying in the bed. So I asked if I could go to the bathroom, which got me out of the bed. And then when I came back, I said, can I just sit on the edge or, um, so I sat on the edge for a while and then I asked if I could lean over the bed. So we raised it up to the very top, um, and I kind of leaned over and swayed over the side of the bed. So at noon, um, so we've been doing this for an hour and a half. At noon, the doctor came in um, and she asked if I wanted to be checked. And I said, no, I don't want to be checked. Um, I, I just, I just knew that if I hadn't changed, I was going to lose it. So, um, she, I said, she said, well, how are you feeling? And I said, well, I feel pressure. And she said, well, where do you feel the pressure? And I said, I feel it vaginally. And she said, well, when you start to feel it rectally, like you have to have a bowel movement, that's when it's time. And I said, okay. And I asked her, you know, I said, do you want to make a call of when this baby's going to be born? And she said, she looked at the clock and meanwhile, it's noon. Okay. She looked at the clock and she was like, I'm going to say four. And I just, I about lost it. Um, I said, well, would you change your answer if I told you that both my kids were born within nine minutes of each other at about 2.45 in the afternoon? And she went, oh, that kind of changes things. But she didn't give me another, um, she didn't give me another, another time. So, um, she, she leaves and, um, Lynn and Kennedy... A, a, a nurse comes in. Her name is Kim. I'm introduced to her. And Lynn and Kennedy, Lynn tells me they're going to go for their 30-minute lunch and they'll be right back. And Kim is going to watch me. Um, Kim also has another um, mommy. So she is trying to watch both of us. Um, since I'm in a state-of-the-art room, she is able to pull up her mommy and me on the same monitor and watch us both, which was incredible. Um, so Lynn and Kennedy leave, and that's about the time, you know, all hell breaks loose. Um, hold on, let me check my time. Um, and I'm going to stop right there and start a, um, part two. So, um, I'll be right back.